This tutorial is the first of a two-part series looking at the HIPAA accelerator. This first part, just answering the question, what does the accelerator do? What do I get with the accelerator? So, accelerator, number one, is purchased <laughs> from Microsoft or downloaded from the MSDN subscriber site and installed separately onto your BizTalk servers. It has its own set of documentation, its own assemblies, and installs actually quite a few components with it. One of them would be a database. It's a database that's going to keep track of all the HIPAA messages that pass through BizTalk, making sure I don't have any duplicate messages, um, doing a lot of the validation in there. It's all tracked through that database itself. Security-wise, I have a HIPAA subsystem users group. You want to make sure that your BizTalk host user account is added to that group. And I have quite a few BizTalk artifacts. Some very nice ones happen to be these schemas here, defining all my different types of HIPAA documents in flat file XSDs. So I have single and multiple message formats of all the basic HIPAA type documents I might be processing. I would be adding those documents to my project, those schemas, to my BizTalk project and validating them. Let's make sure they're registered with the database. Another component that I get is going to be a pipeline component, actually two pipeline components, one for receive and one for send. So I have HIPAA disassembler and HIPAA assembler. These pipeline components do basically the same thing that the HIPAA adapter does. They validate the schemas. They um, will convert those schemas from XML to EDI or from EDI to XML as necessary. Make sure that you know I don't have a duplicate message that's already been processed by the system. Mostly, again, as I said, the same basic stuff that the HIPAA adapter does. The adapter, however, has a few additional features that we can configure here, like, say, always requiring that functional acknowledgments, 997s, are sent back to the uh, one we have received the HIPAA documentation from, or um, associating with particular partners. So in the address, I choose exactly who am I connecting to as part of that EDI address. These are party names that I've defined within the BizTalk system. Or again, choosing, say, the particular type of document that I'm choosing to receive in this case. So we have all the components to develop our HIPAA solutions.